art journal for a watercolor painter or an artist who likes to put watercolors in their journal. I'm starting with Canson's 30 sheets of 9 by 12, which I'll fold into a 6 by 9 journal. And this was at Walmart only, well, it was less than $6 for 30 sheets, so that's a really good deal. Then I went to Joann's and got, they were having five for a dollar of their papers. And some of their papers have a really thick texture and even a little bit of um, coating, like the embossed papers, they have a little bit of a protective coating. So I got those kinds, I got five different kinds. And then they have this corrugated cardboard type. It's uh, usually $2.99 for one sheet, but it's a double sheet. Like one sheet will make two journal covers. And they also have the plain cardboard. And then I also got glue stick and duct tape. Duct tape sells all sorts of um, sizes, but this one is like a book binder's tape. And I was told that the zebra kind and the uh, little, what is this, like a 70, it's 0.75 of an inch, is so strong that if you put it on something you didn't mean to, you'll have tears in your eyes trying to get it off, is what she said. So I guess that's strong enough. And then this is optional, but I added, uh, I got this at Walmart for 47 cents. It's a pouch for pens and pencils and erasers um, for going on a walk and like carrying home acorns or whatever. And then I got these little uh, clips with, they have little chains on them. And these are additional, you don't have to put these on, but I thought it'd be nice to be able to clip like a feather or whatever to the page if you wanted to. Another thing is a bone folder. They help uh, fold the crease down just really precisely, but you can also use something else like a ceramic wedge, a spoon, or the back of a, a paintbrush that has a really thick handle. This is another type of watercolor paper that you can use, and the reason is this is only 12 sheets, but it's 140 pound and the Canson is also 140 pound. Um, some people don't mind if it's 90 pound, but if you're making it for someone who really, you know, just does quite a bit of watercolor and their journal's very important to them, you probably want to use 140 pound because they, it can really take a lot of water and a lot of paint. It's, it, um, it's a long time before something's over painted on that kind of paper. So I'm making these in signatures of 6x9 and this is the rough cold press side and this side is smooth. So that's basically one signature because I know in a book that you're making, you know, maybe 100 pages and it's on thinner paper, there will be uh, maybe 10 pages to a signature. But this 140 pounds is pretty thick and so we're going to use the tape. Um, it's just going to be one folded page is a signature. So by signature I mean like this and then you put all the different signatures together. But this one is going to be this way, so that all the pages are even, even as they can be. Another thing to do if the person that you're making the journal for uses watercolor sometimes and pen and ink sometimes is add 
you know, maybe 12 folded sheets of Bristol paper and 12 folded sheets of Like this one is, uh, you get these for just like $1.49 at the hardware store and they're really strong. They're like, they're more like clamps. And these are pretty strong. These aren't that strong, but a vise would also work. A lot of people um, put their journal in a vise while they're gluing it or taping it. Um, but these clips are strong enough, just as long as they're thick enough to be able to get around the stack. So you want to be able to, um, at the end, not right now because we're going to clip this up, uh, tape the signatures, but at the end you want to be able to clip and hold it all together so that you can uh, run the tape down all the signatures.
because the clamp ahead or below the last place you taped will help hold it. So maybe just put it there. Then so get as far as you can. Move the clamp. Position it. And put the clamp back on as you go down. Then you want to do another taping that goes around the corner. Flip it over and do the same thing on this side. So now you have these two things and they the book sticks together in the signatures. Now, when there's something like this, you can take this in between there if you want, if you don't think it's strong enough, but it should be strong enough. And this way, you can have a full 9 by 12 painting, and then you can have, you know, the 6 by 9 pages, another 9 by 12 and six by nine pages. That one might need one in the center. Okay, now we're going to make the spine and wrap a cover around. And then use the glue to hold the tape. <laughs> There's no mouse under there. See the mouse there. So with these tails on the spine, you want to bend them back. And they're going to go against the fine when you place it down. First we have to measure the distance that the spine turned out to be which is three quarters of an inch when it's bound together really tight. And then this this page tends to be it's well it ended up six inches but since there are a few that are uneven, you want to add either a sixteenth of an inch or an eighth of an inch for the cover.
So then test it, you know, fold it over and make sure it's going to be long enough. And it doesn't have to go all the way over since you're, gonna, you're going to cover it with other paper anyway. But, you know, you want to be sure that it goes to the ends. And so then cut it. Okay, now you want to leave a quarter of an inch on each side. After you let it dry for a minute, and you open it out. 